Let's design a pergola, because why not? Okay, jumping right in. So we are now importing the anchor that I built in the previous video. And this can be used over and over again now that we have it as a separate component in our files under the admin projects. I can, again, add this to, say I'm doing a fence on top of a concrete pad behind a building or something. I can incorporate, in lieu of having to draw that anchor each time, I can simply just import it in, which is a great feature to have here in the Fusion 360. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I'm going to be building a pergola here, and I forget the overall dimensions that I went with, but I believe it was like a 10 by 12, something along those lines. So stay tuned to this video because there's a lot of moving parts on this one. But at the very end, I will post the drawings as usual on my website for free download if you choose to try and build this. Again, I am not an engineer, so build at your own risk. This is simply how I would and have built uh, pergolas in the past. So I hope you enjoy. And again, the website is joshjamesdesign.com. And that's James is spelled, as you see on the YouTube channel, J-A-E-M-E-S. Okay, so I am now just using the bottom of these anchors to extrude up the columns. Uh, that way I don't have to do any kind of offsetting for the base of the anchor. I can simply just get these to the height that I want. And I'm labeling these or trying to remember to as I go. It just makes it easier in post whenever I want to get these drawings uh, printed out into PDF form for my uh, website for you guys to use as you please. Um, I'm changing the colors here as I do sometimes in the video because it helps me a little bit with the confusion of what component I'm working with. Uh, using the construction planes again, I use a lot of this in the woodworking uh, arena, if you will, for making drawings, makes life much easier and goes much faster. Now I did put holes in here and the reason I did obviously is for uh, carriage bolts. Now this is something I haven't done before on a video but I'm just kind of showing you how you can if you want incorporate through Fusion 360 uh, actual carriage bolts or screws or nails, whatever you want. Uh, by using the uh, plug-in that comes standard. I don't know if it comes standard in the base free version of Fusion 360, but I have the full version and I have access to it. And it's a really nice feature. What it does is it lets you go out and grab the exact size, in this case, carriage bolts that you need and bring them right into, you can bring them in through the wood if you have holes set up. Um, in this case, I just bring in one to show you and I kind of leave it standing out beside the anchor. But the main purpose of these is so that, for me anyway, is to go back and have these added to my list of items that are needed to purchase to build the project. So this way you'll have all the exact screws, bolts, whatever you need. And whenever you go to your big box store or wherever you choose to get your materials, it's just good to have a little bit more detail on the drawings is always nice, especially if you're letting someone use these to build a pergola. They want to just make it a one-stop shop, easy, go to the store, get the material I need, including the bolts, screws, anchors, and whatnot. This is a great way to do it. And again, I don't actually get the right size here. I don't run these through the post, which I would be doing if I was building this pergola. I would through bolts um, to minimum carriage bolts through these posts. But again, I'm not an engineer. I am not telling you how to build these. I'm giving you a design on how I would do it. Um, 
And if you like it, you can check it out and try it. But anyway, this McMaster car, a uh, little plug in here is exceptional at that. I mean, it's, it's amazing. This thing has uh, pretty much everything you could ever want to add to your project when it comes to um, the accessories. Nice to have.
Okay, on these, um, yeah, I'm using two by eights. I don't think they have cedar as far as the material for appearance or actual material in Infusion 360. I need to add it, but I'm going to be using two by eights on this and I would probably go with cedar, but honestly, in the days that we live in, and right now it is uh, August 25th, 2021, material is through the roof, and cedar is more expensive than I've ever, I've ever seen it. So as good as cedar looks to me, as, uh, as far as I'm concerned for a pergola, I would almost just go on and get treated material here. So that's kind of how I'm designing this, using treated uh, a yellow pine for this particular pergola. But it still looks good. You probably want to paint it, to be honest. Whereas the cedar, you can just treat it and call it a day and it looks great in its natural state. But um, these are all two by eights. And I'm just cutting in the angles to give you that look that you definitely want on a professional looking uh, pergola. And I do add the screws here, I believe as well for the carriage bolts. So if you do download these drawings for free on my website, joshjamesdesign.com, James is spelled J-A-E-M-E-S, it um, should be known on this pergola that you'll want to pretty much use carriage bolts all around uh, these supports here, top and bottom. Um, it goes without saying that you need a lot of structural integrity for the sheer amount of weight that you are putting on top of these six by sixes. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've done one of these. 